had to take a couple days off because um, not only to get more information, but also to meditate and get ready for the Jocelyn update. And um, that's pretty much what I've been doing is mentally, spiritually preparing for that and also other things going on as well. You know, it's this wonderful thing called life <laughs> and we have deadlines and things to do. <clears throat> so y'all know what it is. Um, this morning, I'm just getting started. I kind of wanted something, well, healthy, but desserty at the same time. So I made like a, like a um, chocolate banana smoothie. I know it's a little, you know, I guess um, desserty for starting your morning, but that's what I wanted. So, I did get some new information, some new downloads on some videos that we have done, some cases that we have went through. Um, <clears throat> these past readings, y'all, have been wild just wild um the thing is because like i told you guys whenever i do these cases and i um get with the spirits they'll keep you know um telling me things after the readings if you will like guiding me to things showing me things um I hear things. So it doesn't just go away once I cut the video off, if that makes sense. And um, I did get some new information about the Atlanta child murders case. And it's just something about baby Yusef, you know what I mean? A Yusef Bell that just will not... <laughs> um, I, I feel like he just really wants what happened to him to have clarification and also to be known, okay? Now, I will say, obviously, um, even if you're using logic, Wayne Williams was not the only culprit, okay? This is just common sense. I, this was an organization or organizations is what I'm getting now that were operating at the same time. If you put racism as the first motive in this case, you're going to miss a lot of information. You just are. Okay. Yes, Georgia is very racist. It's always been racist. It's still racist especially then um but it's really not a hundred percent where we should be looking right <clears throat> true enough it has something to do with it but not as much as you think and that's kind of what i was trying to um put out there so you don't lose focus on why there were other reasons this happened as well that were beneficial um, to these sicko elites, all right? So, I got to talk to the spirits, you know, about, and also baby Yusuf came forward too, and um, about basically what happened to him. Now, he was bribed, all right? We went over that. He was bribed. Um, it also let me know how the person felt that bribed them. So basically, they thought this was hilarious, y'all. Like, they got a kick out of it. And I was telling you that. And also, um, I don't know what it was about that day that he let his guard down. But um, he really wasn't the type of kid to do this. So it was kind of crazy. Not only that, the spirits did let me know that he fought back, y'all, because he did know a little bit of karate. He was taking his little karate classes. He fought back. I do feel that uh, Yusef Bell was also drugged, which is why it made it very difficult for him to fight back the way he could have fought back, okay? Now, he almost did get away, y'all. 
This is a fact. Um, but fate has it. It it just didn't happen that way, and I wish it would have, because he could have shined a lot of light on this case. Um, he put up a good fight, though, y'all. I do know that. But he was drugged. I got that twice. Um, so what I need you to also understand is when you look up these victims, um, from the list, not all of them, of course, made the list or were on the list. There were several more children. I got like 300, 400 children that were murdered, y'all. Imagine that number. Okay. It's way more than 30 or how, however more they said, 20 something around that number is nothing compared to um, the real number, all right? Now, um, of course, all of them wouldn't have made the list. Of course, all of them would have um, not been able to be paid out. Like some of those parents were basically paid out as a way to kind of be quiet and go away is really what it was for. Um, there's no way they could have done that with that many uh, children that were coming up. Now, I will tell you, people have questions. Why did it pick up after a certain amount of time? Well, it's just like um, with these type of organization, there is a quota. Okay. It's almost like if you go into business, right? And your business starts booming and you start getting clientele and people are saying, yeah, I like this business. I like their product. So then you get more clientele because it's like that word of mouth advertisement type of thing. Right. And you got all these sickos that kind of know about your organization and that it's pretty much safe to um, purchase from. OK, so now you have more clientele. So you have to meet the demands. OK, that are brought to you. And I feel like um, it was telling me Wayne Williams was the right hand man. OK, the reason this is being is because he was black and he could lure the black children and go into these neighborhoods and different things like that. Um, there's no way that um, a white person at that time could have operated in that way because it was just too risky. All right. Now, were there. Um, Caucasians involved, absolutely. There were people from Russia, people from Sweden. I had told you people from all over. All right, so going past that, um, these gruesome murders, a lot of them, a lot of details were not told because it is very gruesome. If you look up some of these victims, right, um, it will just basically say, oh, they were strangled. Oh, they were asphyxiated. Da, 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 da. What they're not going to tell you is things like, now, this is a trigger warning for whoever. Um, baby Yusef's eyes were missing. Um, Lou B. Jeter's uh, body was cut in half and also missing his private parts. Um Angel Lanier was missing her nose, which they did not state, and also her ears, okay? There were also, they did not state fingers, parts of the body. So then you go into, okay, why were there parts of the body missing, right? Well, you got some real sickos out here, people, um, and there is a specific name for this type of crime, Okay, where you take people's parts and sell them. I also feel like they were kept as souvenirs. Now, believe it or not, there were clientele who uh, were requesting certain, certain things. Okay, and this is like big money, y'all. All right, big money. Um, no, Wayne Williams was not paid this cut. As you know, he, like I said, he was getting peanuts compared to what um, the top people were getting. Now, <clears throat> with that said, there were people requesting um, these certain parts and it, 
they made a lot of money off of that. Also, I told you with the, and again, I don't know if you can say this word as bluntly as you'd like to on YouTube, but films of porn and also um, of murdering the children. Okay. Um, those particular films, especially in these foreign countries, for some odd reason, um, make a lot of money, especially at that time. Okay. So I'm getting at least six to 10 G's a pop. All right. Now just add that up. All right. So, um, this is why this was done. There were clientele that were requesting certain things uh, that had to be done in a certain amount of time with a certain quota of children. All right. Now, no, all the children again were not reported. There were way more children that were uh, hurt, missing, murdered. Okay. Way more children. Now, get this, even after Wayne Williams was arrested, a lot of people want to talk about this case, but they don't do their research. They don't do their research. They just say what other people say, or they repeat what the media has told them, or they repeat what they've read on Google, or they repeat something they've seen somewhere, or repeat something they've seen on Mindhunter, but they really don't do their research, y'all. And you cannot sit at a table and discuss this case with people who really know what they're talking about without the facts. All right. And I'm telling you now that they didn't give you all the facts and it's for a reason. This is a big thing. All right. Also, um, this organization was also tied to the KKK. You're saying no way. How can that be? How can um, they be affiliated? Okay, first of all, let's get this straight. This is Georgia. Nothing operates in Georgia without coming through them. Because if, whether you know it or not, the KKK has a lot of power, y'all. Even in the Supreme Courts, the highest of courts, they have a lot of power. And they also make a lot of money off of criminal activities. This is how they stay afloat, all right? Now... Um, yes, they were a part of this. Yes, they made money with them. Okay. Again, we're not going to say this was 100% about racism because it wasn't. Because at the end of the day, getting paid has nothing to do really with skin color, y'all. It's about money. And that's one color, which is green. Okay. So when you look at this case as 100% racism, you're going to lose the whole purpose of why this was done. The, the total reason why this was done. And I told you, there were a lot of uh, elites involved with this. You know, politicians, doctors, lawyers, judges, you name it. They was a part of it, okay? Now, <clears throat> the total reason this thing was really going on, y'all, believe it or not, it had to do with the election that was coming up. And you're saying, what in the world? How does this even make sense, right? So you have all these organizations working together for a purpose that no one would ever think really is the total purpose, even though people are getting paid, which is another purpose, right? But it's for the election at the time. We have Reagan, we have uh, Jimmy Carter. Now, what more could boost a person's image more than pretending like they really care about this particular situation that's going on with black people, which, of course, is going to get you the black vote. And whether you believe it or not, minority votes and black votes are very important, okay, in an election. So... This not only gives him the image of the hero effect, okay, but also will get him more black votes, all right? 
Now, true enough, at the time, you know, the KKK was not happy about this black mayor that got in. They were not happy about that. But there's a bigger purpose that needs to be fulfilled. So then you put that aside, right? And you focus on really the big picture of why this kind of needs to be done. Yes, it's terrible. Yes, it's sick. Yes, it made a lot of money in different ways, okay, for many different organizations and many different people from all over. But the main focus was about the election, okay? So again, I told you this case goes really, really deep. There's a lot of um, prominent people involved, which is why I don't feel in this lifetime that we will get the clear answers that we need as far as this particular case, I feel like what's going to happen is they're just going to say, oh, yeah, we were right all along. He's the one who did it. The evidence definitely leads to him. But there is definitely a, a bigger picture and there's definitely bigger people involved. All right. <clears throat> now. Again, these um, parts were being sold to sicko clients. Um, they requested certain things like this. Now, when these things were done, then just like any job or operation, you get on the phone, you say, look, it's done. It's a done deal. And the spirits were letting me know, hey, that's how, how it pretty much went down. You know? And then you move on to the next. It's just like going to a job, y'all, even though, most of us have way better jobs and more honest jobs than this, okay? But it's just a criminal job. It's terrible. We excuse me, cannot phantom why uh, someone could go around kill, killing children as an occupation or hurting children, but it happens every day, especially in these foreign countries like Russia, Germany, India, it's all over the world, y'all, unfortunately, and it's bleeding more and more into, I feel, the American um, culture is something that we're missing and not doing that is um, allowing this sickness or disease to continue to grow. Okay. Now, yes, we've had a lot of people get revealed here lately. Oh, yes, we have. Have we got the, the bigger people? No. No. But do we know about certain celebrities that are involved in this? Are we aware now? Yes, we are. Um, now it's more of a matter of what do we do about it? What can we do about it? Um, I feel like what the spirits were letting me know is, okay, what we can do about it is we have to pull together, y'all, as a community. I think we forget that saying, we the people, okay? It means something, we the people. We are powerful in numbers. We are powerful in unity. So if we are putting our effort into these communities, if we are looking out for our children, if we, if we are teaching the children, <clears throat> if we are protecting the children, if we actually care about the children, we can definitely make an effort in changing this thing around. No, we can never just totally end evil and corruption in the world. We know this. This is logical. But we can decrease these numbers because it's just getting worse and worse. And like I said, it's bleeding more into the American culture. And we got to do something, y'all. It's really up to us. We have the power in unity, we really do to say what we will allow, what we won't allow. It's up to us. 
We cannot keep making parody videos. We cannot keep making jokes. We cannot, you know, this, no. We have to take this thing seriously. All right, these are children that are being hurt all over the world. This has to be taken very seriously. Now, um, <laughs> no, I don't feel we're going to have the uh, truth about the Atlanta child. I don't th ever think we will. I don't ever think they'll give us that because that's a big light, y'all, being shined. All right. That's, that's a big eye opener for how the world really operates, you know, how they make the big bucks. And it's, it's too much for some people. It really is. So what I feel is they're just going to say, oh, yeah, these certain people did it. Definitely Wayne Williams did it. It's more to it, y'all. Half of these people involved in this case are long gone. This was back in the late 70s, early 80s. They've been gone. They are getting their justice as we speak. All right? But there are some that are still living that um, definitely need to be brought forth. Do I feel like that's going to happen? I uh, know. Not the true big culprits in this. No, I do not. They will give you just what they feel like they want to give you to um, <clears throat> satisfy you or keep you um, sustained where you are. Like, you know, just throw you a couple peanuts and say, you know, take that and go away. Like they do us all the time. So, again, this is what this channel is kind of about, is um, going in depth and getting answers. And excuse me, I'm, you know, my voice in the morning is a mess. Um, going in depth and getting answers that we need and um, kind of blowing the lid off some things. Now, we have to do it in a very safe manner and professional manner, but... Um, it is what it is. Corruption at its finest, y'all. And it happens every single day that we wake up. And so I did get that information. And it was kind of like the spirits were playing it out like it was a show, you know. Basically, um, these hidden secrets. Um, so really, that's y'all's case, y'all. That's the case. It was these different organizations um, <clears throat> pulled together at one time, regardless of racism or race, pulled together to use um, whatever skills or knowledge they had to make this thing work. Now, they knew Wayne was good at filmmaking. They knew Wayne was a cold-hearted slime ball and a... Um, backstabber to his own people so they knew he was crazy right so anyways y'all know i get interrupted by now um so basically whether y'all you know believe it or not it's kind of like that show believe it or not about things that blow your mind um <clears throat> this happened And I do believe that Charles T. Sanders was involved with the organization. Um, and yes, I do believe that um, the KKK was involved in some way. Now, I do not believe that they were just the only ones. Oh, no. And I don't believe that was the sole purpose. I do not. Um, and even... If it were, let's say if, even if it were, it wouldn't be pinned on them. Trust me. There's too much power in that organization. And um, <clears throat> there's no way that the proper people would have went down in that. Um, 
you know, Wayne Williams was the fall guy. He was the person that they could say, okay, um, he's just going to take the rap for all of this, even though, yes, he was a part of it. Um, but, you know, in a way, it's kind of his karma to me for being such a traitor, you know, to his own people and to be so delusional and so crazy to think just because you were a little more privileged as a black man, at the end of the day, you're still a black man, right? So I really think that um, the KKK really thought he was the one who was a lunatic, right? Like he is out of his mind. And of course, we know that they do crazy things, but in some way, you guys, I really think, uh, <laughs> I don't know how to say this. I really, I want to say it right, though, that Wayne felt that he had a, uh, and I'm just, I'm just going to say what I'm getting, right? That he had a white past, if that makes any sense, okay? Like, I really feel like he thought, Okay, I'm black, but I'm better than a black person. So they're not going to see me as black. I know that sounds crazy. But there's people walking around like with this mentality every day, y'all. Every single day. And you don't really want to put race into the Atlanta child murder case, but it does have something to do with it. But it just shows you the true delusion and sickness that Wayne Williams was under and that he was taught by his own father, which he should just, I don't want to say what I want to say, but, um, he should totally pay for that. Totally. Um, the delusion that he put his son under is just mind blowing. Um, which caused a lot of this, you guys, um, but I get they would laugh behind his back and stuff. I mean, because for one, they knew if anything happened or it got too hot, you guys, they knew they were going to, like, throw him to the wolves. They knew it. And as it should have went that way, I feel, because it's his karma, y'all. It really is. He's um, a traitor. Um, to his own people. And this is kind of what he's been paying is the karma for that. And also hurting his own people, those children. And so he's paying as, as we speak. I don't feel like he's been having the greatest time in there. I feel like he should have got way more in uh, the prison system. I'm not talking about his uh, conviction. I'm talking about, you know, how people kind of get you back in there for stuff like that. But um, because when I found out what really happened to baby Yusuf, yeah, I wanted to kind of <laughs> say, yeah, uh, he deserves a lot more, I feel. But um, back to getting out of your personal feelings and back to the facts. So this man was under great, great illusion <clears throat> that somehow he was better. And he actually was working with the KKK, y'all. And, and, you know, it reminds me of, um, I don't know if some of y'all have seen that Dave Chappelle uh, crazy video. Dave Chappelle is so silly, y'all. Oh, my God. Um, where he was the blind grand wizard, but he was black. <laughs> he didn't know. I'm sorry. I got to remember that skit off of um, the Dave Chappelle show back in the day. And he was, um, the blind grand wizard of the KKK, but he didn't know he was black. Y'all, that skit reminds me so much of Wayne Williams. It's not even funny. Not only is the skit hilarious, you know, but is is very uh, descriptive of <laughs> the delusion, right? So I say, you know, Wayne Williams did wear those thick glasses. 
right? So I said maybe he really had a serious eye problem where he did not know the, the uh, color of his skin. They were some pretty thick glasses, y'all. So it could have been uh, just a terrible eyesight situation. Or this man is just completely delusional. All right? But um, I feel they would laugh behind his back and set him up for things. And, you know, hey, I really feel his karma at the end of the day. So I wanted to share y'all, I mean, share with y'all that information. If you are ever wondering about what in the world was going on, um, it's bigger than Wayne, it's deeper than Wayne. Does it include Wayne? Yes. Um, again, I don't feel they're ever going to tell you the 100% truth, what went on, why it went on. There's a lot of political things involved and a lot of corruption and shadiness. And I just don't feel like they're going to let all that out, y'all. But you heard it here with our update. I also want to get to um, the Jocelyn Smith case and um, the part two of Valerie Pride. We did some really interesting ones. We did Elizabeth Downs. We did um, Casey Anthony, which was very enlightening and some other things. And I want to get into some other things as we go. I did have to take a couple days break. It happens. So again, I was just doing an update and no, I'm not thinking that that case has any humor in it at all. The Atlanta child murder case is very sad. Y'all almost cried um, when the spirits were letting me know more information. It's, it's really sad. But I think sometimes we bring a little humor to the channel because it is so dark and it can be very depressing. So every now and then we bring just a little light, a little positivity, a little humor into it because it is a very um, dark subject talking about these cases. Okay. So anyways, this is the update for today. Stay tuned. Um, thank you for all my supporters, everybody watching, everybody subscribing, liking, commenting. Thank you. Thank you. All over the world. Thank you so much. And I do uh, have a specific viewer yesterday who commented and encouraged me. And I thank you for that because I have been feeling kind of down these couple days. And I really, really appreciate that. Y'all know what to do. Love you guys and stay tuned.